Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the uh, random number game. And before we get started coding this method, uh, there's something I actually forgot to add. Maybe you caught it and added it yourself, but I forgot to set a layout. And if you don't do that, nothing is actually going to show up when you start the game. So, set layout new flow layout. And then. Yeah, so. Anyways, after we get that done, go down to here and back to our action performed method. And we can start coding the brains of the game. So, first of all, we need to generate a random number. So, random num equal to. And we need to cast it as an integer because um, if it's not an integer, it's going to be like a double with like 15 decimal places and. If it was that, nobody would ever actually guess correctly, so... We're gonna have like 10 possibilities, I guess. 1 through 10, so... To cast it, you go int, in parentheses, and then right after that, go... math.random... empty parameters, and then how many you want. I want 10. And just like this. But now, the problem is... I mean, it's not really a problem, but... When when you run this, it's going to generate 10 numbers 0 through 9, because computers already always start counting at 0. And I don't think anyone ever ever enters 0 as a number, so... And plus it says 1 through 10, so... We're going to say... Every result, we're going to add 1 to it, just like that. So now it's going to go 1 through 10. Alright, perfect. Now, I'm going to add a try and catch block, so I can catch any um errors they make, like... If someone enters a uh, letter or like a symbol into the text box, it would mess the program up and shut it down. So if we add a try and catch block, it won't shut it down. It'll just tell them what they did wrong and they can fix it. So try. And it's going to give us an error because we didn't do the catch block yet. So And then, let's see, we need to get their guess. So guess is equal to cast this one as an int also. And then go double dot parse double dot um not dot um and inside the parse double parameters put text field dot get text just like that um what this does is it it's gonna parse which means like scan I guess the text field and it's gonna get the text out of it and turn it into an integer right here and it's gonna sort in our guess variable all right perfect so if actually I'm gonna go down on the line all right if so the logic here is fairly simple. If guess equals random num, they won. So result label set text you won the game. Else if guess does not equal random num, that means they lost. So result label set text you lost the game just like that now find where your try block ends by dragging it down and it'll line it up so this is the curly brace where the try block ends we need to add a catch statement so uh... we'll just name our exception x like that and then we gotta say um... set the random label so random label dot set text uh please enter numbers only. Oh, and I forgot to actually um take this random label here and have it output what the random number actually was. So the random number generated was and then do a plus operator and then random num. It's like that. So now we are done with the action perform method. So as you can see it's a lot longer and more complex than anything we've ever done before, but if you need to pause it now, get all the code and I'm gonna go on to the main method so we can actually run this program real quick. So go down alright, that's where it ends. So go like this and then public static one uh, um, whatever your class name is, the first class name up here. 
the parent class, so it's random name or game. Random game. Uh, I'll call it GUI equals new random game. GUI set default G. There. So now it's going to close when we actually click the X. Set visible. Duh. Set size. Uh, this is usually always the hardest part for me is setting the size. Um, considering using flow layout, it, it can get messed up if we give it the wrong size. So I really don't know how to say 300. 50 and then set title. Uh, we'll call it random number guessing game. Alright, that's it. Now, not too bad, only 62 lines of code. So, and considering C, it takes 70 lines of code just to display a window with nothing in it. That's pretty good for Java. So, alright, here it is. Enter a random number one through ten. I'm gonna guess six. You lost the game. The random number generated was eight. Okay, well I'm gonna guess seven. Huh? Looks like I won. You won the game. The random number generated was seven. So, as you can tell, my random number generated was seven. Um, my guess was seven. It was equal to the random number. It said you won the game. Now I'm gonna enter something like A B. Uh okay. Try this. Alright, so enter random number one through ten. I'm gonna say like uh okay I'm really stupid and I'm gonna enter F. Please enter numbers only. Oh. oh okay, I can only enter numbers. Okay. Five. Okay. Four. Oh, it looks like I won. Alright. So that's pretty cool. And see, when it, when you click the guess button, the random number generated always changes. Most of the time. So. That's how this game works. Um, it might take a little while to catch on to the logic behind this stuff. This is the, the hardest part, I'd say. But just remember what the try catch block does. It tries all this garbage <laughs> stuff. And if it works... It just skips the catch the next um, block, but if it gives you an error, like you enter um, a letter, it's going to say, please enter numbers only. So, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I think next one we're going to do maybe uh, some kind of calculator one, or maybe something else, but it'll definitely be with GUI, so thanks for watching.